Welcome back guys, it's Stephanie from My Porch Prints and today we are going to be working with a kit from my Etsy shop. This is called the Crafter's Planner Kit and it's really great if you are a crafter and you want to plan out some of your projects. Um, this has uh, pages for tracking your project ideas and supplies and wish lists and it also has um, weekly pages here and then uh, it also has monthly pages somewhere. Well, we'll find those in a minute. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Monthly pages. All right. And what we're going to do today is we're going to create a planner just for one month. Uh, not like the whole year because that would be a pretty big journal, I think. But um, what we're going to do is just pick and choose the pages that we like from the kit. And we're going to make just a one month planner for projects and ideas. And... Um, I've gone ahead and printed the pages and I printed them front and back, which means that I put them through the printer once and then I flipped them over and chose the pages that I wanted to print on the back. And um, these also printed with white borders. And it, if you don't have a borderless, a borderless printer, then you'll need to cut those white borders off. And I've gone ahead and done that already. And so what we're gonna do is create a cover using one of these file folders. It's gonna be kind of like a soft cover journal. And since we're only gonna be using it for one month at a time, I don't want to put, you know, I guess a lot of effort into it, if that sounds right. Uh, we still want to be pretty and functional, but um, just keeping in mind that it's going to be a one month planner. And so um, we won't be using all of the pieces that come with the kit. We'll just be using, you know, picking and choosing the ones we want for this particular month and then saving the others for the next month. So let's go ahead and get started on the cover. Okay, and before we start on the cover, I should mention that this is going to be a no-sew journal. We're going to actually be tying the pages in. And again, the part of the reason for that is that this is just going to be a one-month journal. And so um, it doesn't really make sense to me to sew the pages in. Um, since we're going to only be using this for a short time. So let's go ahead and get started on the cover. And if you hear jingling, it's my dog, Toby, playing with a toy. He's upset that I'm not paying attention to him. <laughs> so uh, we'll see if I need to pause the video while he gets rowdy over here. But for now, we'll just try to go ahead and keep going. So um, again, we're just gonna use a file folder for the cover. And I'm going to want this to be double thick, so I'm going to use both pieces of this file folder and I'm probably going to just glue them together. And there's an opportunity there for making pockets in the cover. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to do that though, I think I might just leave it uh, without. But just so you know, if you want some pockets in your cover, you might be able to do that since there's going to be a double thick cover. And I've chosen these images for the front and back cover. And what I'm going to do, um, this is actually just a little bit short of how tall I need it to be, um, but I'm gonna go ahead and just cut this here anyway, and uh, we're gonna see if we can make it work for us. So I'm gonna be cutting just right along this um, piece here. And that's going to become our cover. There we go. And um, we're not going to have a spine really because again this is going to be a fairly thin journal since it's only for one month. Um, but I am going to make a little bit of one just you know to have room for the pages and the ephemera so it doesn't alligator mouth too much when we make our book. And I think yeah, I'm going to choose this for the outside of the cover because it's nice and plain. This has the ridges from the folded, you know, from the folder folds. <laughs> so we're going to cover that and make that the inside. And this will be the outside. And as you can see, um, it's, it's not really tall enough to leave a border. So what I'm probably going to do is just shave a little bit off the top or bottom of this image that's going to be on the front cover. One of these images. I haven't decided yet. <laughs> So what I'm going to do is kind of place these on here and you can kind of see how big our spine can be. And I'm going to leave um, just a little border here and here 
and then I'm going to be cutting again the top and bottom and then hopefully that'll create a border all around. And so I'm going to have a pretty thin spine and a lot of people would say let's measure this but not me. I'm probably going to just uh, mark it with my nail here and fold it where I think it will work best. Let's see if my plan works. I'm going to hold it here. And there's my other mark. I'll hold it there. Oh, maybe. This gets a little tricky. The ruler probably would come in really handy right about now. Okay. There we go. All right. So we've got our cover going on here and we've got a little bit of a spine going on and I'm going to go ahead and glue this down so that it's stuck together. And again, you've got an opportunity here if you want to make some pockets in the side, um, but I'm not going to do that. And um, I don't think I'm going to use clear glue for this. I think I'm going to use my runner tape. This is just my bone folder. I like to use it to smooth and flatten when I'm folding things. And you should find links down below for anything that I'm using, or at least most things. got our cover kind of started. I am going to go ahead and I think, I think I'm going to glue the inside cover to start. So um, this kit comes with printable papers and I think I'm going to go ahead and use one of those just on the inside cover. And I don't think I'll use it on my spine so that should give me enough to cover both sides. Go ahead and fold it in half. That should be good enough.
Okay, and um, I'm gonna go ahead and put a piece here to kind of cover the spine. And our kit comes with these um, lace tuck spot pieces. And I think I'm just gonna go ahead and use one of those right there on the inside spine. And just so you know, um, we cut this with a decorative edge punch. I'll put a link down to that below as well. There's a little extra here, so I'm gonna trim that up. Okay, and now I'm gonna go ahead and add the cover to the front, which means I'm gonna to have to choose which one of these I like the best. And I think I'm gonna use this one as the front cover. And what I'm gonna do is, uh, like I said before, just trim a little bit off of these because they're a little bit big for these, uh, for the cover. Okay, let's see how these look. And before I put these on, I'm going to go ahead and ink my edges. And I'm using a vintage photo. And this is just a makeup sponge that I'm using to apply it. All right. And one more thing I want to do, I think, is round the corners of my images. And I have a corner rounding punch for that. All right, and now we're ready to glue our covers on. Okay, so our soft cover is starting to come together. We've got the inside and we've got the outside covers and now we're gonna add some pages. So um, again, just because this is going to be a one month planner. I'm not going to use lots and lots of pages. I'm going to kind of pick and choose the ones I want for this month and save the others for another month. So I want my month. This is going to be probably one of the first pages. And then I wanted supplies and project ideas. And again, I've just printed on the back of these. Usually um, they're just blank or lined, but some of them have um, images on the back like these. So you'll want to pay attention to make sure you have the correct pages. Check out the front and the back. And I'm going to want four of these weekly calendars because there's usually about four weeks in a month and there may be a few extra days that I don't get on here, um, but that's okay. I mostly just want to have enough that I can plan, you know, most of my month weekly uh, during the days as well. And then I'll just pick a couple extra pages. I think I'll need this one. Um, yeah. All right. And then what I'm going to do is choose the order that I want them in and keeping in mind that these are going to be folded. And I'm only going to do, I think, one signature. So one set of folded pages. I'm not going to do like, you know, um, a lot of journals will have multiple signatures, multiple sets of folded pages within them but I'm just going to do one kind of large one.
I'm folding these separately so that I get a good crease on each page before I put them all together. Okay, so this will be kind of the order of my pages. I've got my monthly calendar right at the beginning. Project ideas, supplies, and then it's going to move into the weekly calendars so that I can plan out projects for each week. And then I've got just some extra writing and decorating space. And you'll notice that we've got kind of a blank page right at the beginning, and that's going to be something that we can add ephemera pieces to and decorate. So to attach our pages to our journal, we're going to be just using some, um, if I can get some. This is a seam binding ribbon and it's falling out of its cover because I'm messy. <laughs> and it's from Scrap Cabin Shop. And I'll try to put a link to that below. It's from Etsy. And I'm just trying to pick a color that matches nicely. I think I'm going to use this pink color. And I think this color is called Lyric. I'm going to double check that, but um, if I can, I'll put a link to it below. And what I want to do is just measure enough ribbon, leaving a little tail at the bottom, and double it. And that, oh, well, this piece is already cut, so that's perfect. And then that's going to be how I tie in my pages. So we're going to go to this middle page. We're going to put this ribbon right through, and then we're going to tie it around the spine of our book. And just tie it down here at the bottom. And you want it tight, but not too tight because then it will bend your book. So snug, but not too tight. And I just double knot that. And then that just becomes a pretty little streamer and we can attach charms to it or beads if we want to. And then our pages are just tied right in to our book. And this is nice when you're just doing a monthly planner. You don't have to, um, you know, overthink it or work really hard on it only to have it last for a month <laughs> but it can still be something pretty and inspirational and the plan would be to make one of these for each month of the year and then um, once you use one you you move it aside and you grab a new one all right so now we're going to start decorating the pages okay so we are going to start decorating the pages and we have some ephemera that comes with this kit lots of really just pretty pieces and we'll be using just a few of these today and then we've also got some um, these are freebies from my Facebook group so if you're a member of the my porch prince fan group on Facebook these are um, notebook labels and you'll find those under the files tab in our Facebook group and I'm going to be using these today as uh, page tabs I think so let's go ahead and start decorating um, I'm not going to do a whole lot of talking while I do this, but you guys can kind of just follow along and see what I do. All right, let's go.
Okay, we've finished our monthly crafters journal. Let's go ahead and take a look at it.
Alright, thanks for watching everyone.